Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial on the purpose of weekly crop ET reports. I am Alan Fulton, UC Irrigation and Water Resources Advisor, working in the northern Sacramento Valley of Tehama, Glen, Clusa, and Shasta counties. The purpose of these weekly crop ET reports include providing an estimate of crop water consumption for the major crops grown in our areas based upon real time local weather conditions. Our goal is to encourage thought about why you are irrigating. This information should help guide how much water to apply and how often to apply it. Our goal is to apply scientific concepts on evapotranspiration, abbreviated as ET, in a practical, informative manner to assist California agriculturalists to manage water as effectively as possible. A little bit about these weekly crop ET reports. A team of UC farm advisors and scientists from the California Department of Water Resources work together to provide these reports. We are trying to package scientific information in a convenient format and deliver it to you to assist with your water management. We access real-time grass reference ET data, abbreviated as ET sub O, from the California Information Management System, acronym CIMIS, weather stations, and we select the best available crop coefficients to estimate crop ET for the major perennial crops grown in our regions. The reports target specific agricultural regions, such as the Northern Sacramento Valley versus the Sac Southern Sacramento Valley versus the Northern San Joaquin Valley and so on down the Central Valley. Why do we focus reports on perennial orchard and vine crops and not agronomic and vegetable crops? Many of the economic crops in California are perennial trees and vines. There are well over 2 million acres of such crops in California. They are primarily irrigated with drip and micro irrigation methods, which enable more precision with applied water and make information about irrigation scheduling more valuable and useful. Irrigation scheduling in forage crops like alfalfa are often dictated by other variables, such as cut cutting cycles. In the case of vegetable and field crops, they have a wide range in planting dates and length of growing seasons, which makes it tricky for us to provide representative crop ET rates, particularly in a short, concise one-page report each week. We offer access to these weekly ET reports using two methods. First, there is the weekly email format. You let us know that you want them and we'll deliver them to your mailbox each week during the irrigation season. You can unsubscribe at any time by contacting us. The alternative is going to our weekly online format. Each week, we post these reports online to various websites. You can retrieve them at your discretion, but it does fall on you to make the time and give priority to go get this information. If you're interested in requesting or receiving these weekly crop reports by email, you can contact various folks within UC Cooperative Extension. For the Northern Sacramento Valley area, you can contact Cindy McLean, Office Manager at UC Cooperative Extension in Tama County and copy me you see our addresses there. For the Southern Sacramento Valley, you can contact Farm Advisor Catherine Jarvis Sheen in Yolo County. In the Northern San Joaquin Valley, you can send an email request to either Roger Duncan or Kerry Arnold, who are Farm Advisors in the San Joaquin and Stanislaus County areas. Further south, you can contact Farm Advisors Phoebe Gordon or Mae Columber, who are Orchard Crop Advisors with UC in Madera and Fresno counties, and even further south in the Central Valley, you can contact Mohammed Yagmar, 
to receive information for the Kern County area. This slide shows a sample of one format of an email report. They take on various formats, but they all have the same similar information. I'm not going to dive too deep into the content of this table at this point. There'll be separate tutorials where we work with the information in greater detail. But I would like to bring to your attention, you can see the crop list on the far left side. Here we have the irrigated pasture, the short grass reference crop, and then we have a list of various different types of perennial orchard crops that are growing in our area. We also include an estimate for urban turf grass, and at the bottom of the, each table, you'll see we give a past week's rainfall amount, and we also keep a cumulative rate of rainfall from the earliest leaf out date of the crops that we report. In this case, it would be almond. As you move across the table, you can see we report information from four different areas representing four different CIMIS weather stations. Furthest north, we report for Tehama County, Gerber South Station, number, CIMIS Station number 222. We report from two stations in Butte County, one further south in bit near Biggs, and one a bit further north near Durham. And then we report for the west side of the valley near Williams in Calusa County. We are limited to these four CIMIS weather stations in the northern Sacramento Valley. This page provides you an example of our Sacramento Valley Orchard Source website. And you see here we have a tab on the website that will take you to our ET reports webpage. And here we have two live links one that you can get reports for the South Sacramento Valley and one for the Northern Sacramento Valley. The online reports provide the same information, but again, a different report format. Here you can see the station identification. You can see the crops reported for, the various information. In order to see the crop ET information for different regions of the Northern Sacramento Valley. In this case, you would scroll down the web page to see additional tables. So this concludes a short introduction about the purpose and how to access weekly ET reports to help you manage irrigation water. Thank you.